here on the University of Minnesota campus where uh, an Al Franken rally is getting ready to take place. Hillary Clinton is the headliner for this rally. The doors opened up about five minutes ago, and you can see already there's a line of people streaming to get in. Fifteen years ago, I'd be talking with Al Franken, and he'd be talking about Minnesota about growing up here and about how much he loved this state. Now, it's said you can't go home again, but for Al, I don't think he ever really left. He certainly left his heart here in this state, and he's come home to serve all of you, if you give him the chance. What and you my here son today? Joe at the time was nine uh, years old. I want to hear the issues again. So uh, reminded he one wore a, a twin was it Hillary or was it Al? Uh, it doesn't matter. To the White House. The message. Saturday morning, about 10 o'clock, we're here in St. Paul at the DFL headquarters. Al Franken is kicking off his bus tour. Uh, if you can kind of take a little gander, this is a bus here. And then over here are the people who have turned out for the rally. Stark contrast to that Hillary Clinton Franken rally that was down at the U last week. Nice to see you again. Later I asked him, I said, David, there's a story about your dad that I just I I just want to know if it's true. He goes, Yeah, but get this. My dad's running alongside me, and he could see that I was running out of gas, he'd say, You can do it! You can take this guy. You can take this guy. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Go. Keep going. You can do it. And he said, you know what? Damn, if I wouldn't do it, I'd take this guy. And you know what? I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to take him. Thank you. Thank you. Nice bus. Yeah. You're, you're taking it to Albert Lee, Austin, St. Peter, sure. et cetera, et cetera. What are you going to do when you get there? Uh, I'm going to give a speech. I'm going to barnstorm. I'm going to rabble rouse. I'm uh, going to whip up enthusiasm. October 25th, 2002 uh, was a day that changed politics in Minnesota uh, significantly. How much of that, Mr. Franklin, will you carry with you uh, on the home stretch towards Election Day? Well, I, I told this story about <laughs> Paul cheering on uh, David. And uh, listen, Paul's energy, his enthusiasm, and basically his his heart, and also his philosophy, which was, we all do better when we all do better. And, you know, that's what I believe in. That's what I believe. We all do better when, when we all have a good education, when all our kids have a good education. We all do better when people are earning a good wage in their job. We all do better when we all have health care. And, and so, yes, I carry Paul with me. And um, I think he'll help sustain me through these last 10 days.